Today, I'm showing you how to do this clothes swapping video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, I'm Mitoki and I make dumb videos on the internet. Those are my qualifications for this tutorial. Thank you. I really like this effect though, because everyone's already seen those transitions where you grab your shirt and, whoa, I'm in a new shirt. Cool, we've, we've seen that. So I saw a couple people do this on TikTok and I figured let's try it out. To shoot the video, I just did it right here in my room using my iPhone on a Miniman Froto and a Moment MagSafe mount. The alliteration on that is crazy. You can also use a DSLR, but uh, it's TikTok. It's not that deep. Then I set my iPhone to slow-mo and went up to 240 frames per second. With slow-mo, you need a lot of light. I used an Amaran 60X LED light with a China light modifier, along with an Elgato key light. I would recommend doing some practice shots because certain light sources will affect slow-mo in different ways. During the filming, I put pieces of tape down to mark where I would be jumping every time. Then the hopping began, adding more to my outfit after a couple of takes each. After I finished my exercise for the month, uh, we're ready to edit. All right, so let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's start a new project. Let's bring our footage in. I will bring that into a timeline. Before we get cracking, we're going to go ahead and turn on the save margins, show rulers, and show guides. And now we can take our mouse and go over to this edge and give ourselves a little line right down the middle. Now, when we're going through the takes, we can actually see which ones go right down the middle. I will go in sequential order and pick my favorite takes. Most of them I picked were the ones that showed my double chin the least. And with that, we will trim off the sides to make one seamless jump. I mean, look at that. That's already looking great. You can end it right here if you want to, but we're not gonna do that because that would make an awful tutorial. So let's grab all that and duplicate it. Now bring your playhead to the beginning of each frame and add a frame hold. Chop all these down to about four frames give or take. Offset them to only leave one frame of overlap with the original clip. And now, the fun begins. Select one of your clips, go into the effect controls panel, hit opacity, and the good old pen tool. And now we'll start drawing an outline of the new article of clothing. You can actually click and drag if you want to round out the lines. Um, you can also do this in Photoshop as well, but uh, I just want to show you how to do it within Premiere itself. To get the pants to fly in, let's add an animation by toggling on our position keyframe, going to the very end, adding another keyframe. I'm going to go ahead and add a ease in effect. With it at the very beginning, let's move the position to go off screen. Whee! And that's it, except let's make it extra spicy. Let's top it off and go into our effects panel and type out directional blur. Add that. We'll add some length to the blur and also change the direction to 90 because we're coming in horizontally. You can also change the animations like this jacket I had coming in from the front by just animating the scale of it. And that's pretty much it. That's how we got this video. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Get out of here. Bye.